There has always been a brotherhood of adepts. There have always been those who knew, those who possessed this inner wisdom, and our masters are among the present representatives of that mighty line of seers and sages. Part of the knowledge which they have garnered during countless eons is available to everyone on the physical plane under the name of theosophy. But there is far more behind. The Master Kathumi himself once said smilingly, when someone spoke of the enormous change that theosophical knowledge had made in our lives and of the wonderful comprehensiveness of the doctrine of reincarnation, Quote, yes, but we have lifted only a very small corner of the veil as yet. When we have thoroughly assimilated the knowledge given us and are all living up to its teaching, the Brotherhood will be ready to lift the veil further, but only when we have complied with those conditions. For those who wish to know more and to draw nearer, the path is open. So the path is open to everyone who wants to know more and to draw nearer to the Ascended Masters, at that time the Unascended Masters. What it tells me is that if we want to draw nearer to the Ascended Masters, then we have to distance ourselves from the world. And that is what this book tells us. If we want to walk and talk with the adepts, then we cannot go into low centers of entertainment. But the idea is, if you really want to be accepted as a chila of a master, then you have to be obedient to what is most important to him. Very early in my experience with beloved El Moria, I began to understand what was important to him and what was not important. And I followed him and followed his profile to come to the place where I am. I had a master, a teacher, beloved El Moria, and I had Lanello. But the man who aspires to approach the masters can reach them only by making himself unselfish as they are unselfish. Please write that down because I think all of us can identify in ourselves somewhere, consciously or unconsciously, selfishness where we put ourselves first. But the man who aspires to approach the masters can reach them only by making himself unselfish as they are unselfish, by learning to forget the personal self, and by devoting himself wholly to the service of humanity as they do. In her article on occultism versus the occult arts, Madame Blavatsky has expressed this necessity in characteristically vigorous language. True occultism or theosophy is the great renunciation of self unconditionally and absolutely in thought as in action. This sounds very severe, but I am giving you this book and this teaching so that you will never have a complaint for the rest of the days of your life before the Ascended Masters, that you were not told. By giving you the law and the rules of these adepts, then you can soar to any heights that you aspire to. No man can stop you. No Ascended Master can stop you. So at this juncture of our teaching, we come to the realization of how powerful is the individual and how free is the individual. We don't have to wait till someone gives a dictation. We don't have to wait till we are directed to do this or that. We are free agents of eternity. And we can go as high as we want to do, as high as we want to go, every day of our lives. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org.
Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030 USA.